hello and welcome to this video so today i am going to be sleeving some photo cards so i just filmed an open mail with me and i have a few photo cards to put away from that and then the other photo cards are from polls from my unboxing that i did the ats movement unboxing so yes i will be sleeving these in either dragon shield sleeves or ultra pro ats goes in dragon shield sleeves so that's why I have these out. I was going to start with ATs. And then I'm also going to actually... Okay, this is my ATs POB binder. All of my POBs are in Dragon Shield sleeves. But I have like random cards in here as well that are like... I don't know, DVD, photo cards and stuff like that. And I want to put those in Dragon Shield sleeves as well. And just have ATs... Like all of my ATs photo cards in Dragon Shield sleeves. It's a lot easier, I feel like, to do it that way. So that's what I'm going to do, but first we're going to sleeve my these photo cards and then we'll get to this. Okay, so let's get some Dragon Shield sleeves. Look at them. Oh my gosh, these photo cards are to die for. I might be sleeving too many photo cards because I don't remember <laughs> if I have some of these in my photo card binder yet or not, so like duplicates like for these 80s ones for the album pcs i think there are a few extra sons in here that i don't actually need to be sleeving but i'm gonna sleeve them anyway and then once i do my storing photo cards video will be when i like figure that out you know what i mean so yeah we're just gonna do this first so i joined a group order for 80s pods and some of them have arrived and for the ones that have arrived <laughs> I actually jo joined the go for the pop plus inclusions and so the inclusions you got to rank the members and I ranked it I think Sungwa number one and then Sa number two and so they gave me a full Sungwa set and I'm so excited because I barely pulled his photo cards this era him and like Wu Young I would say are like the two members I barely pulled oh and Jung Ho I barely pulled them and then I put saw number two. I just basically just wanted the two harder members to collect for me personally. San and Sungwa are always a little bit more difficult. So I figured I would go ahead and, you know, try for them, I guess, if that makes sense. And then I don't remember who I put for third, but yeah. Look at how cute. Sans are also like my favorite photo cards for sure this era. They look so cute like are you joking and the little jewels that he has on his eyebrow like oh my god i love san so much i feel like the members i talk about the most are like either you know because he's my my bias line essentially but which are you know sungwa mingi and Wu Young. but i love all the members so freaking much but like sometimes i feel like i don't talk enough about san hongjun yo sang and jungho but just know i freaking love actually i talk a lot about jungho too because i love jungho oh my gosh they're all my biases like let's be real if i could collect ot8 for the pobs and fan sign cards that would be absolutely amazing <laughs> like uh, but i can't which sucks it's just way too expensive i would have to drop all of my collections in order to do that and you know right now i'm just not in that mindset of wanting to downsize any other groups so but just know ats will forever be my number one okay i'm not gonna say forever they are my number one alt so i love these boys so freaking much look at this yo song i barely pulled yo song too I don't know. It was just kind of weird, I feel like, my polls this era. I pulled a lot of Yuno. Know. I pulled a lot of Yuno know since, like, Fever Part 2 era. I've been polling him consistently. And I stand because, as I mentioned, he's my bias. And so it's just kind of nice pulling his album photo cards. But look at how precious. Oh my god, I love him so much. This is one of my favorite photo cards too. Oh my god. I'm just such a, in a good mood today. I don't know what is happening. Look at that. Are you joking? This is top tier jungle photo card. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I'll try to go a little faster because we can't just... <laughs> I can't show you guys every single photo card here. I still have to re-sleeve some of my binder. I was going to do also like a clean with me today. I don't know if I'll be in the spirits to do that. I think I might be though. Maybe. <laughs> This one, you guys, you know, like, he needs to calm down. <laughs> Do you, like, uh, uh, like, what? You know? Oh, my God. And then this Mingi. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop talking about the photo cards. <laughs> I think I'm doing my storing photo cards video after this video, so that'll be exciting. And I am including all of my ATs ones. I was kind of thinking about doing like a storing 80s photo cards video but by itself but I think I'm just gonna add it with all the other groups I have as well because like there's no point in me doing them by themselves if that makes any sense sometimes I feel like my sentences are just not good <laughs> they don't make any sense at all but that's fine oh my god Look! Song Mingy! And then this is, you know, his, um, with Mew, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, with music. His hollow, are you joking? For pops and stuff, I do collect, I fully collect, you know. I feel like if you watch my videos consistently, you're probably so annoyed with me talking about who I collect all the time. But I just say it just in case there are people who've never seen my videos before. But if you enjoy, you should definitely subscribe. <laughs> but these are the uh, Make Star Round 1 offline PCs, and they like the hearts can you see that like they connect with a member and it's just so adorable i'm still gonna put these in age order in my binder but actually i'm curious to see how it's gonna look like in age order well i'll be doing a storing photo cards video anyway but <laughs> i'm like i kind of want to see that so i'm gonna put them here <laughs> Song Mingi. <laughs> Song Mingi has a hold on me. I don't know if y'all know that, but he has a hold on me. Okay, let me see how this will look age order. So the way I do it is Sungwa, then I do Hong Joon, then it'd be Yuno, then it'd be San, Yo Sang. Oh no, this isn't gonna look as cute. Jung Hoon, Hong Joon. I mean, <laughs> These two connect. Of course they do. They're literally soulmates, I swear to God. But, yeah, that doesn't... I mean... <laughs> I don't want to do it out of age order, because I know I won't like that. But, anywho. Let's keep going, because we still have a few left. These are the Wonderwall Pops. I did a group order for these, and it was really fun, honestly. I've already sent everything out, so that's... I feel like at ease now. I feel like I can start cleaning my room because my room's... A, oh no, what happened here? <laughs> my room's a literal disaster, which sucks. I need to clean so bad. It's Labor Day weekend, the day that I'm filming this video. So I have tomorrow off. It's Sunday today, so I have Monday off. And i oh, so happy about that. But yeah, these are the Wonderwall round two pods. And they're all doing the Uno you know pose where he does like the close-up selfie. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Yo, Song and Woo Young did not do the pose, but that's okay. I can forgive. But look at that, <laughs> you know. Oh my god, he has such pretty eyes too. Oh, I love them. And then we have Hong Joon's. Sung 
Oh, okay, now we move on to other groups. So I need to get my Ultra Pro sleeves out for them. So for every other group, I use these Ultra Pro ones. I actually prefer the size of these more than the Dragon Shield sleeves because they're a little bit shorter. But what I don't like about them is the little dot. I don't even mind it at that much, to be honest, because I put it so that it's on the back. But yeah, that's what the Ultra Pro sleeves are. And I do every other group with these sleeves. I really, really freaking love Kim Dong Hun. I think y'all know this by now, right? Y'all know I love Kim Dong Hun. Oh my goodness. I think I'm almost done with challenge arrow for him. I'm just missing one photo card. I need to go on Instagram and try to find it. <laughs> I think I'm done with his first sight photo cards now though. I'm pretty sure. And I'm done with action. I think I'm just missing challenge. And then first love, right? <laughs> like is that what it's called? And then I have this cutie Sejun photo card. Oh my god, I love Sejun. <laughs> and then... A Subin, the very last Subin photo card, or chronograph, I should say. Chronograph photo card I need. And then we have Mr. Juhani Wahane. Look at how spectacular. This is the everything version. Okay, so that's it for sleeving. So now what I'm going to do is re-sleeve some 80s photo cards. If you've never seen my 80s paw binder, this is the... 80s pobs binder so oh crap this one i keep my pobs and all my pobs are like oh, me in the front and these are already in dragon shield sleeves so the photo cards that aren't in dragon shield sleeves are the um i think starting here right or are these in oh no these are in dragon shield sleeves when did i switch these or maybe i never switched them these are the season songs yeah they're all in dragon shield sleeves are these no these aren't okay starting here i guess so we will re-sleeve them so these are the light stick pieces and they were in the ultra pro one so i'm switching these to dragon shield i feel like i should have something else to talk about like what should we talk about I've gotten asked a few times if I'm going to the 80s concert, and I am not. <laughs> I cannot go. Sadness, I know. They are going to Chicago when I'm... Or they'll be in Chicago when I'm in Texas. And I arrive to Texas the day after their concert. So, like, the worst of luck, honestly. I think it's a sign. Like, 80s is telling me to wait and... Yeah, I don't know. They're telling me to wait to see them in concert. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell myself. Oh my gosh. I really love the light stick photo cards because they're actually holding their light stick. Some light stick photo cards, they, they're not holding their light sticks. And I'm like, what? Like, it's the perfect opportunity to take these cutie selfies. Like, are you joking? Love it. Love, love, love it. And I got these light stick photo cards, not with the light stick, because I purchased the light stick after the pre order time, which I think you only got these if you pre ordered the light stick or something. Or they were like limited time. I don't know. This one is so cute. Do you see them? But anyway, so I wasn't able to get them. I did, however, buy their light teeny stick case. So I bought the light stick case and it came with these photo cards. I was like, what? I was really shocked when I opened the light teeny stick. I was like, huh? Or the case. But yeah, so I'm really happy I have them. <laughs> So I did not want to pay for them individually because that's what everybody does. They sell them individually. Ooh. Okay, then these photo cards, I like how they're all doing the same pose. These are from the, what is it? Their extended fever show thingy. 
that they did or concert I guess do they call it a show yeah they called it an XR show but these were the photo cards you got when you purchased your ticket so it was an online concert and these are the photo cards you got if you paid for that like specific bundle I know it was it wasn't like too much more expensive than the actual like just getting a ticket because it was the package I got was the ticket plus merch but the the thing that made it really expensive was the shipping the shipping was so expensive for these oh my gosh Look at baby son. Mm, we stand. Like I said, I'm still unsure if I'm going to be filming myself while cleaning, but I for sure need to clean today. But I kind of have a headache. I had wine last night. I like barely ever drink wine because it tends to make me really tired and I think that's also what gives me a headache so I need to like not drink wine anymore but you know what I was like yolo and here we are here we are okay and then these are the photo book photo cards oh they're most <laughs> they just came out with a photo book and I feel like the, this photo book also just came out but this was their ode to youth and I guess this is considered their first photo book even though they did have the oh what was it called the the like treasure photo book where it had photos from treasure era I feel like that was their first photo book but maybe not maybe I guess they consider this their first photo book y'all I don't I really don't know I'm not sure I love this, you know, I kind of miss, you know, with blonde hair just because it fits him so well. Like, I'm normally not a blonde hair kind of gal, but I just really liked his blonde hair. And then this was Yo Songs. Look at Sans. Like, Sans does such cute freaking photo cards. I kind of want them to do one with, oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm so clumsy. I want to do one, or I wish they would do a photo card set where they're all doing this signature San pose because they did a Uno you know one and I'm like, they need to do San's pose. Or they should all, wait, wouldn't that be so cute if they did like each member's signature pose? I mean, they already did a Uno, so we can cross that off the list. But if they did like the Jung Ho one where he's literally always at this specific angle and all he does is change his whatever he's doing with his hands it's either like a peace sign he's doing one of these one of these <laughs> that's like all he changes but oh my gosh that would be so adorable they should do that honestly okay so that's it for this one and then these are the hollow ones did I, I did also put these this is going to take me a while. Should I just not talk and we kind of... Or do you guys like me when I talk? Like, not like me, but do you guys like it when I am talking while doing everything? These ones are really cute. I can't believe, like, they gave us two really cute photo card sets. They're really out there doing the most, honestly. Look at that. Oh, I love it. But yeah, they came out with the Fever photo book, which only one of mine has arrived. I ordered one off of Sub-K and one off of Hello 82, but the Hello 82 one has not arrived yet. And I pre-ordered that forever ago. So I'm just like patiently, impatiently waiting for it now. And then I'm also buying their new one. <laughs> I cannot believe they came out with another photo book. I don't know what's up with KQ and photo books right now, but it's kind of annoying. I'm like, KQ, stop. Like, I don't have the funds, KQ. But they also came out with, what was it? This, is it a summer photo book? Is that what they're calling it? Honestly, I don't remember. But yeah, I did buy also 
the newest one that came out. So yeah, three photo books, I feel like, in less than a year, which is a lot. Wait, when did the treasure one come out? Did that one also come out, like, in less than a year? Who knows, man, who knows? So freaking cute oh i love i love jung ho <laughs> okay then this photo card set is from their oh what was that the what is it called the membership kit thing yeah so these are the photo cards from that they look really pale in all of these ones though i don't love that like they look really washed out i feel like in this photo card set this was my first time getting the kit i think it's my first year as a member of like the 18e membership thing yeah because if you were a second year then you got like these weird clear cards which i'm kind of okay with not owning them. <laughs> i hate clear cards and little id cards i don't like those either if i'm being honest but here we are i still have them you know Oh my god, y'all. I'm also really close to 6k subscribers, which is kind of kind of insane. A little bit, a lot insane, honestly. So I plan on, like, I have a, an extra, no, not of those. Once we get there, I will show you guys, but I have an extra, like, ID set. So I'm thinking about doing that as a giveaway for 6k subscribers. I think that would be kind of cool. Maybe like every 1k I'll give something away. I mean, when I reached 5k, it was also the time that I was doing my signed album giveaway. So I chose two winners for that and I gave out my signed albums. So two of them. So I might, I have an extra one still too, but it's a you know one. And if you, Birdie said this a million times, but you knows my bias. And so I want to keep him. <laughs> I want to keep all them. This one. I have an extra set of these IDs. So I might give that away as my 6k subscriber giveaway. Plus it's really easy to package. I'll just have to put like a stamp on it. Like I can put it in an envelope. Okay, these are the sub K ones. And for the sub K ones, I honestly, I'm okay with keeping them in ultra pro sleeves. Just because they're not like, I don't want to say they're not that important. But they're, they're kind of like cheaply made. And I don't know. I really don't care that much about these. So I'll just keep them in those sleeves. Same with the Polaroids. I was debating. I, I've seen people put their Polaroids in white sleeves. I kind of like that. I don't know if I'll do it though. And then more Polaroids. Okay, these are pre-order benefit Polaroids. So I am going to sleeve these. These are the Sub K merch pre-order photo cards. So if you bought any of their merch, any of sub k 80s merch during what is it zero fever part two so during this era you would get pobs and stuff and so or pre-order benefits yeah pobs and so these ones are a little bit more like mean more to me than the actual merch photo cards so i'm gonna sleeve these i guess these are what I, what is it called like not higher quality. Oh my god, what's the word I'm looking for? Harder to come by. <laughs> but so are those, technically, because they you can't buy those anymore. But pre-order benefit photo cards, I feel like, are very harder to find. Oh my god, what is the word? <laughs> Mine's going blank. But yeah, I do have one complete set, and that's because I ordered, I think, like, eight or nine things. And so I got seven, which is a complete set because Mingi was on hiatus during this time. And then I got a few other extra ones. At first, people were selling these for like $20, but now I've seen them going for like seven, eight dollars. I sold mine for like seven or eight dollars. I just feel like. <laughs> Any photo card that's like $20 or over has to be really hard to come by. Like, oh my god. I don't know. Rare. Oh my god, rare. That's the word. Selena Gomez would yell at me. She's probably screaming rare. Rare. Anyway, 
so these ones are also from that same sub k one and then these ones are from the other sub k ones and i collected obviously my biases i haven't seen sungwa's for these pops for their second merch drop with sub k so otherwise i would love to have sungwa because he is my bias him and you know are my bias and then Wu young's my wrecker I haven't seen them anywhere <laughs> i'm not gonna like try and look for them because i don't care too much about it oh no i need more dragon shield sleeves i think i have a few more boxes left of dragon shield sleeves oh my gosh once i go through all my boxes of dragon shield sleeves that means i have a thousand photo coins because <laughs> i think i hate ball a thousand dragon shield sleeves but anyway, I pulled Sungwa for this one. So his second one, because for this one, they did two different versions. So they did this version and then this version. I really like Wu Young's. I just like the pink background. Okay. And then this was the Deja Vu version, so they also did two different pre-order photo cards. And one was Eternal Sunshine version, and then one was Deja Vu version. And so this one's the Deja Vu version. Okay, I got a fresh box of Dragon Shield sleeves. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, love it for me. Okay, so... These are from their merch that they did. I think it was tour merch. Yeah, the Fellowship tour merch. And it came with like this weird light, flashlight thingy. I don't even know, man. <laughs> but that's what these came with. And yeah, I only bought these four members flashlight thingies. I just call, I'm just gonna call it a flashlight. Yeah, so my bias line. Mingi is also part of my bias line. He is officially part of my bias line. I love him. <laughs> I have a fat crush on him, actually. I won't even talk about Song Mingi. I don't even know where my flashlight thingies are, to be honest. I think they're in my drawer somewhere, hopefully. <laughs> I really don't know where they are. And then these are birthday merch photo cards. So yeah, see, some of these, since they are pretty rare and expensive, I feel like they should go in Dragon Shield sleeves. Because Dragon Shield sleeves are also expensive. <laughs> but yeah, these... I'm always scared that it's gonna like that circle is gonna leave an imprint on the photo card but I don't think it does I mean I would have to check my eight not my ATs my BTS collection because if they do then my entire BTS collection would have an imprint because I think those are the photo cards I've had the longest and that have been sleeved the longest in ultra pro sleeves So yeah, I have both of Wu's and then both of Yuno's birthday merch stuff. I almost bought Mingi's, but what were his? There were slippers that said flicks, flicks, that <laughs> said fix on, and yeah, I don't know. I really liked Wu's the best, the chopstick, the, what is it, cutlery set? It was top tier. Okay, these I think I'm leaving in these sleeves. These are the first photo book photo cards. What I consider first photo book anyway was this treasure one. I don't collect anyone specific. There's only one member I didn't pull and it was Sungla. And his photo cards are so expensive. And I actually don't like these at all because they're so thin. So I'm going to keep those in that. This I think will also... No, I will resleeve them actually. These are the sparkling photo cards. If you don't know, you know, San, Jung Ho, and Sungwa were part of a K drama, or were in a K drama, and so yeah, these are their photo cards. These are the sparkling version, I should say, photo cards. 
god, I'm still missing Jungho. For some reason, I thought I already had Jungho. <gasps> what? Ah, oh, that sucks. I need to find Jungho's photo card. And the more that time goes on, the harder it is to find them. <laughs> uh, I will do my best. Who did I find then? Because there was two members that I was missing. I don't remember who they were now. They have lots of sparkling stuff. So I'm going to keep that one in Ultra Pro because I don't care about it. Hui Yang. I was missing Hui Yang's for forever. That's who it was. But I found his, but I did not find Jungho. That's so sad. And Jungho still has, I think, red hair. I loved Jungho during his red hair era. I find him so handsome. <laughs> Maybe it's like the beauty mark. We stand a man with a beauty mark on his face. Hui Yang's, I found his, but not Jungho. I need to remind myself that I'm still missing Jungho. <laughs> I'll like, maybe I'll do a search on, what is it, Instagram afterwards, see if I can find it, but it's really hard to find his photo card, <laughs> which is why I don't have it yet. Somebody was selling it for so expensive, and I was like, absolutely not. We are not doing that today, friends. <laughs> Not today. Okay, these are random photo cards, which I think they're also all... Oh, these ones aren't. I think these are in Dragon Shield sleeves, and so is that one. It's just these six. These are just my random photo cards, like DVD, Seasons Greetings. Like, this Jungle is from their 2020 Seasons... No, 2021 Seasons Greetings. And then this is also from their 2021 Seasons Greetings. And this is from 2022. I pulled Yuno. You know, these are all my polls. So I pulled Yuno's for 2022 and some was for 2021. So I'm like, maybe 2023 I'll pull Woo Young. Like, just go through my entire biases. That'd be so funny. Or Mingi. That'd be hilarious. And then for their fellowship DVD that they did, I pulled Hongjun. And the Cromer thingy that they had, I pulled Sungwa. And then they had this, like, summer merch stuff last year, and I pulled Jungho's random card, and I think it came in a, what is it, um, a binder, I'm pretty sure. I think I just have that binder somewhere. It's like a photo card binder. <laughs> but yeah, I pulled Jungho. I've seen Yuno's up for sale, and I'm kind of tempted to buy his, but... I just haven't been able to justify. Oh no, these ones are already sleeved. <laughs> I have a random K Town, I think, Sungwa Pa because it's one of my favorites. And then some Dreamers stuff. And then I think, oh no, these aren't. I pulled Sungwa for the Fellowship Beginning of the End DVD, which I don't even remember that. <laughs> that was so long ago. I can't believe I pulled Sungwa. What the heck? We stand. I don't remember. I think it was like the normal version because they also have a Blu-ray version of the their DVD. And then I obviously the group card which everybody got. And yeah, I think that's it for this binder for sleeving. I still have to re-sleeve a few one more binder, so I'll get that one right now. Okay, so this is the other binder I just have to re-sleeve. It's my other faves, which just <laughs> holds a million different groups in here so i have some nct i moved nct to this binder i might move them back to a different binder we'll see how i'm feeling and i did downsize a little bit but i think they're all in ultra pro sleeves i'm just making sure so yeah these are all in ultra pro sleeves and then i think so is shiny i guess you're kind of seeing a bit of my collection now which i don't mind yeah, I think these are all in Ultra Pro sleeves. It's, there's a few that are in Titan Shield sleeves, and those are the ones I'm going to move to my Ultra Pros. Okay, so yeah, these are all 
in, is it this one? Yes, these ones. So we have Kingdom here. They're in these ones. I like Titan Shield sleeves, but these are just too small for them. So they like slide in and out of here because they're too thin. If that makes sense. Do you see that? Like the difference? So I got the wrong size. That's just my fault. But I don't mind those sleeves. They're actually quite nice. And they're thinner too. So so I'm just resleeving a few groups that are in these Titan Shield sleeves. Which Kingdom is one of them. Did you guys see the new member? Oh, I forgot his name. There's a new member in Kingdom now. Which is kind of cool, honestly. At first when I saw it, I wasn't sure how I felt. But now I'm like, I kind of don't mind. Kind of cool, kind of fresh. <laughs> But yeah, this binder just holds all the groups that I don't really plan on collecting anymore. That's why I want to move NCT back to a different binder because I think I'm still going to collect Renjun and Jisung, my two aliases. I did already downsize NCT Dream. I got rid of Geno's photo cards. I still have a few, I think, on my trade and sale Instagram. I need to update all the photos on there. That was another thing for this weekend for me to do, but I've been so busy this weekend. <laughs> I can't believe I actually have time to do this right now. I've been wanting to do this for like maybe like two, three weeks now. I don't know how long it's been. Oh my god. It's been a while though that I've been wanting to resleeve my photo cards. Look at this one. Arthur looks so cute. What even? Okay. Oh, shoot a potato. Then these ones are, I think, the Pobs, maybe, from... Because I bought the Dan album, and that one actually came with pre-order benefits. I think I ordered off of, like, Sub-K or maybe Music Plaza or something, and they came with pre-order benefits, and I was shocked. I was like, what's happening? I've never gotten Kingdom pre-order benefits. Yes. So, so that's all good and then we have tempest tempest actually just came out with my favorite album so far by them which they only have two their debut album and then the other one and i was planning on not buying that album but i think i just might because there's this one song only one day it is so freaking good it is one of my favorite b-sides i think this year it's too good, honestly. I did already resleeve these photo cards, I'm pretty sure. Probably will end up buying maybe just one version of it just because I love that song so much. Okay, I think... Oh, I do have these ones in Ultra Pro, but I don't have these ones. Oh, I also bought some signed SF9 albums, so those should be on the way. I think, hopefully. <laughs> They're from M-Wave, and M-Wave takes their time, you know, with sending signed albums, so... I was expecting it to take a long time, you know. I'm not shocked that it hasn't arrived. I really do like them, though, because they're so thin. And these Ultra Pro ones are really freaking thick. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the matte, though. Do I like the matte? Do you? I mean, it doesn't make that much of a difference. I think this is the last one because I think these ones I did sleeve in Ultra Pro sleeves. Okay, so SF9 is good. I think this... Oh no, all of these. <gasps> There's so many. I need to take a break. I have like a really bad headache. I don't know why oh yeah i already said the wine it was probably the wine and i'm probably dehydrated too i love that for me <laughs> i don't know what else to talk about besides tempest's new song that's so good their whole album is really good but just that that song only one day if you guys haven't listened to it please go listen to it because it's honestly top tier 
song b-side of the year um no i don't think it'd be b-side of the year because of how much i love sorry heart by nct dream sorry heart y'all have you listened to that you should if you haven't it's on their beatbox album and i think it's just Runjun, chunla and hechan i'm pretty sure it's just the vocals line i don't know if that's what they call themselves the vocal line but anyway oh that song that's like so so freaking good. Okay. I haven't purchased their repackaged album either. Or did I even buy the Face the Sun? No, I did buy Face the Sun. I just buy... 17's albums randomly whenever I'm at Target but I hate the shape of their albums so I'm tempted just to buy photo cards now instead of buying their own <laughs> oh crap I need some more ultra pros okay it's a dragon shield box but I put the ultra pro sleeves in there yeah I don't know oh my god I really need to clean my room my room looks so gross it's really small so it gets dirty in 0.2 seconds because of how small it is I have I still need a shelf for my signed albums, my 80s ones. I know what I want to do, like how I want it displayed. I just need to buy it. Ugh. Maybe I should go to Meyer after filming and buy a wall shelf. I might, honestly. That actually sounds like a good idea. Because I plan on just doing a wall shelf for it. I was also thinking about putting them where my light sticks are right now because so I keep my light sticks on the wall shelf that's above my closet so that would be cute putting the AT signed albums there moving my light sticks somewhere else but I don't know I also made a collage of Extinary Heroes on my wall that's so cute I actually really like how it turned out. It's like right next to my bed just in case. Oh god, I just dropped a sleeve. Just in case I film a video, like a face video, I guess. Is that what they're called? <laughs> but yeah. This Jung Han is so adorable. I need to do laundry. Oh my god, I'm just thinking about everything I need to do right now. I need to like calm my brain a little bit. Like, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, now... Oh, crap. Do I have to resleeve these, too? I do. <laughs> There's so much resleeving. This is probably a long video of me just sleeving and talking about pointless things. I'm like, what else could I talk about? I don't know. Let me see. See, look. Can you see them, like, kind of slipping out? <laughs> that's because of these i feel like they're a little more slippery too than the like glossy ones i feel like the matte ones just kind of are a little more slippery <laughs> i don't plan on buying any more pentagon albums but you know we like this collection a little it's cute and i have a random wano there because i didn't know where to put them I really like Invite You though, the album. I want their Love Love and Take Lover Take. Is that what the album's called? I really want that album. Like real bad. I might buy one. These I think I will Oh, they are in Ultra Pros. Okay, so these ones are good. It's from their season's greetings. Yeah, I bought their season's greetings. Why you might ask? I I don't know, but I plan on only buying, I think, three, no, four. Four Seasons of Greetings this upcoming year. I think I bought, like, six or seven. 
for 2022 and I'm like okay for 2023 I'm limiting myself to three but then Extinary Heroes happened and I love them so much so I have to get theirs if they have one but yeah so ATs obviously Monster X obviously my two alts and then We I because they're an almost alt that I absolutely adore and Kim Dong Hun <laughs> and then the other one is Extinary Heroes so yeah those are the four that I'm limiting myself to also, even like merch wise and stuff, those are like the four groups I want to buy their merch. Because, I don't know, merch is kind of expensive. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. These are just random Sangyeom photo cards that I purchased on Mercari one day. <laughs> Do you guys remember that haul? Oh my god, it's ridiculous that I bought this many. I did downsize them a little bit too though, because I just wanted it to fit perfectly in these nine pocket sleeve or er, nine pocket pages. I didn't want to have a third nine pocket because I only had like three photo cards on that one, so that's why I downsized it a little bit. But I do love Sanyam so much. I really love the boys. I don't listen to their music that much. <laughs> I know people kind of drag me they're like what they have such good music and blah blah but it just isn't music that I tend to listen to I guess I've tried like don't get me wrong I have tried I like salty that one I can get down to salty sometimes I like thrill ride too I really like thrill ride actually I think that might be the, my favorite title track by them which is weird I'm normally more of a hard concept Oh, the Steeler. The Steeler's really good. They have really good title tracks. I don't know how I felt about their most recent, though. Whis was it called Whisper? I mean, I liked it. I didn't. It's not that I didn't like it, but compared to, like, their past title tracks, I feel like they have really good title tracks. But it's their B-sides that I'm not that into. Hopefully, y'all don't hate me for saying that. But it's just not my vibe, I guess. So that's why I don't buy their albums. I can't justify me spending money on their albums, but I guess I could justify spending it on the phone. <laughs> oh, I'm trash for literally these men. Oh, we're almost done finally. Oh my God, I'm sweating. I'm wearing a crew neck because it's like 60 degrees outside and I went to Meijer. That's why I don't want to go again to get a wall shelf, but I probably should. I really should, shouldn't I? Ah, uh, I probably will. <laughs> They're gonna see, they see me way too much there anyway. They're probably used to it at this point. But anyway. We are finally done, OMG. So here are all of my <laughs> Sanyam photo cards. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I don't know where to end this video. Should we end down Tempest? Because they just released one of my favorite B-sides ever. Okay, so yes, that was the end of this video. If you guys stay till the end, then please comment any purple emoji. Because why not? Because <laughs> my nails are kind of purple lilac-y. I don't even know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next one.